Okay, this last problem that we're going to do is a very interesting problem also, um, but I don't want, as you're going through these, I don't want you to, fo to focus in on, okay, here's some shortcuts. When I see this, I can do this, and it makes it a little bit easier. You know, try not to focus on that. Just focus in on the rules. When we multiply a binomial, we distribute, and then simplify, collect like terms keep do that first and then let the answer turn out to whatever it's supposed to be. In this problem here, again, we are multiplying two binomials, so we are going to have to distribute. So I'm going to distribute my 6 first. 6 times 6 would be 36. 6 times the negative 3 square roots of 2 would be negative 18 square roots of 2. Then distributing our second term to the binomial, 3 square roots of 2 times 6 would be plus 18 square roots of 2. And 3 square roots of 2 times negative 3 square roots of 2 would be negative 9 square roots of 4. Okay, now simplify and combine. So here we have 36 minus 18 of those square roots of 2 plus 18 square roots of 2. These are the same um, type of term, so we could combine those. And when we have minus 18 of them plus 18 of them, that will cancel out. Here we have minus 9 times the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 4 is 2. So this now says negative 9 times 2, which is a negative 18 and 36 minus 18 is 18. This works this way because these are a difference of two squares. Do you remember whenever you were um, factoring, and if you were factoring something like x squared minus 9, it factored into x plus 3 times x minus 3? Well, this is the same exact idea. You have a plus and a minus. It's a plus b, a minus b. And by doing that, then you know, when, when you see that, then the middle term cancels out. Now, if you're looking at you know, several different textbooks or whatever, a lot of times they try to get you to see the pattern there so that you can skip over doing these steps and just go straight to the answer. I'm not a big fan of that. I think that it's much, much better for you to get the process down pat, you know, multiplying first and then simplifying and combining.